In this video we're actually looking at replacing the front grill. So I've got a replacement front grill here which from what I understand is in better condition than the one that's on the car at the moment. And what I'm going to start doing is giving the grill a bit of a clean up. So I used a bit of cutting compound, not that bit though because that's a very small rather useless bit. So I used some cutting compound uh, to basically go over the chrome and remove any imperfections or as many imperfections as I could. Um, spent around sort of five to ten minutes actually doing this and buffing everything up. Um, I also did exactly the same thing on the central pieces of the grill which can be removed using four uh, sorry removing four Phillips crosshead screws which are located in the top of the grill and the two inserts actually just pop out a hinge in at the bottom of the grill and screw in at the top. The next thing I did after actually applying all of the uh, the cutting compound which in this case I actually used G3 but other cutting compounds are available, T-cut would probably work to be honest with you, uh, is I clay barred the grill as well to try and sort of remove any in-ground imperfections or bits of grit etc. So to do that I used a piece of uh, clay and some um, detailing spray just to basically go over the grill completely. In this particular scene here you can see me removing the individual inserts for the grill and as you can see they literally are per side two Phillips um, screws which just pop out allowing you to release the entire grill. Um, or the entire insert from the actual chrome surround. Now one area they always tend to rust is at these little points here. Certainly on earlier grills there seemed to be an issue whereby the electroplating process for the chrome was never perfect and what would happen invariably is it would flake off and you would be left with um, large rust spots on the grill later ones, and this one is actually a later grill, are a lot better. When I removed my grill I found that um, a lot of the chrome had actually flaked off in the rear of the grill um, so it's sort of like a hollow back into the grill itself when you turn it over and a lot of the chrome as I said had actually flaked off and started to rust quite badly so one of the things I'll be doing with that grill is probably clean it all up, rubber brush, uh, wire brush it and uh, paint the inside of the grill itself just to sort of keep it um, from rusting any further. Um, it, be, it will provide a useful spare so it's certainly worth keeping. Now all of these little imperfections here and all of this stainage actually was uh, removed very efficiently using the G3 cutting compound and then going over that with uh, the clay bar itself. So you can see here I'm actually going over the whole grill with the uh, little bit of clay bar and also the detailing spray and for this process I spent around uh, five to ten minutes just going over the whole grill itself. When you've actually completed this process you can if you want give the grill a polish um, using some suitable chrome polish and that will just sort of help protect and um, bring it up very nicely. For additional protection if you are so inclined you can paint the hollow inside of the grill by flipping it over and you can use a suitable paint uh, for doing that. To be honest with you this one was already quite well protected with very limited rust so it's not something that I chose to do. You could try painting it for example with some uh, wax oil or dinitro so you can spray that into a cap for example, and then just paint it on individually. Now this is actually after I'd polished these inserts. They're not perfect, but as you can see they have come up a lot better uh, than the inserts that are on the car at the moment. The inserts are plastic and they're covered in chrome, so they sort of feel slightly metallic, but they are actually made out of plastic. The surround itself is metal and chrome has been electroplated to uh, the actual metal itself. You can see that there is tarnishing and imperfections on both 
but overall the one that's going on there is in better condition than the one that's coming off. The one item I did change was the Growler badge and uh, to remove the grill there are these four 8mm bolts and they obviously come off with using a uh, a 8mm screwdriver. You can also take the time to corrust anything in here and paint it up with hammerite which is what I did. So I applied a rust inhibitor converter and got that sorted out. So here I am removing the growler. So there is a little sort of split pin type affair sat in the centre here. I forget the name of it, but it's sort of like a sprung uh, washer which sort of clips over um, the uh, pin that the growler sort of goes through on. The growler itself is held in with this, but there is some sticky material, um, some sticky foam pads which it actually sits on. Um, you can, if you want, actually clean away the foam pad itself and apply a new foam pad and then stick the uh, the, the growler badge through that particular uh, foam pad. And all I did then was I just basically reapplied the um, uh, the washer type split washer adhering pin thing, and then uh, that was that. And then the grill was refitted. So there's the old growler and that will be going on. And here's the grill refitted. So refitting is removal is reversal of removal. Uh, those 8mm bolts just bolt straight back in and the overall appearance is a lot nicer in my view. It certainly sort of uh, lifted the front of the car. Anyway, if you find this video useful don't forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more upcoming fascinating hobbies. Thank you very much for watching.